You're muted. I clicked it. I clicked it. Isn't that crazy? I clicked it. I clicked it on purpose as I was like, I'm going to do this. Ah, anyways, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the first day of the Mary Stitchmas stocking make along. Oh my gosh. It feels like one that we just had 24 days of quickies. <laughs> the fact that we're already at Christmas in July is just mind blowing. Like, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Right. Um, so much has gone into this planning and, and, and it's, it's like I, this morning I told John, I said, I was in the car, we're on our way to pick up the, the doggies from the, the groomer. And as I'm sitting there, I'm like having this moment of euphoria and he goes, yeah, right over there. And I said, yeah, here's the deal. As an ADHD person, I get hyper-focused on things, right? And I can get so much hyper-focused and so much like the perfectionism can actually cripple it completely that it can make it so that things never come to complete fruition. Yeah. I said, so the fact that this has come to fruition, it is, it is complete, it is done. I have this huge hit of like endorphins and serotonin that I feel so good. <laughs> And at the same time, I'm so tired. <laughs> like, I'm so like a nap right now sounds so good. But so John was like, well, that's that's interesting. And I said, you know, that's if I think about it, that's kind of how my whole career has been, right? Like there's there's that huge hit of the endorphins of getting the yarn and finding the pattern and playing with the yarn and playing with the pattern, but then it's even bigger when you actually finish something, like you get that sense of completion. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, oh, it's just all, all the good feels. Like right. I celebrated by buying myself a Vera Bradley, um, Minnie Mouse backpack last night. I could, I was like, treat yourself. <laughs> I did. It was 3 a.m. And I was like, damn it. I deserve it. <laughs> True story. That's even funnier that you bought it at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Because then I knew it was 3 a.m. Because I was telling on Facebook, I was telling my friends, I'm like, okay, I bought it. It's 3 a.m. I work so hard. And I said, I work so hard. Hence, it's 3 a.m. And I'm still up working. I freaking deserve this. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so what's really funny is I had tagged John in the post, like, hey, if anybody wants to know, I want this. So at lunch today, I was like, don't don't buy that for me. I bought it already. He goes, Don't worry, I wasn't going to. I said, That's all right, I got it. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, wasn't on my radar, honey. I know, I know. I was like, I already got it. I already got it. So nice. Anyways, that's where I am right now. I am living like this high of, oh my gosh, it's complete. And the high of you put it out there in the world and people like it. Yeah, um, that's where I am. Right. That's where I am. Oh, I mean, we've been working on this for months. Yeah. I mean, months and months. Months. <laughs> I can't even, I mean, it's been a really, really long time. Yeah. The concept, I think we came up with the concept in January. Um, like it was, it was a long time ago. Um, I mean, and I've talked about this before a little bit in other times, but uh, for many years, until I was about 28, 30, when I first submitted for my first published book, yeah. I would self-sabotage myself all the time. And it was because of this fear of rejection. And, yeah. and I mean, just huge. And that's common. A lot of people have fear of rejection. Yeah. But there was this part of me that was so, so afraid of put something out there because what if people don't like it? And what if this? What if that? And so when I got over that hump, like nothing's it's like a train right nothing's stopping anymore but there's always still that fear of gosh i'm putting this out there in the world and i'm putting it out there not only for free but i'm putting it out there for purchase for people to you know where you're going to put your hard-earned money which it's like yeah you're getting this wonderful thing but you're also supporting me but are you gonna like it like i want to make sure you feel like you got your money's worth and dear god i hope you got your money's worth because i tried to pack that thing full of everything you can imagine um like all of that is just Again, it gives me all that serotonin, all those good feels when I see everybody like, I'm loving this. I'm designing my own charts. I'm loving learning how to do this. Like, yeah, it's just fun. By the way, this is Robin, everybody. If you don't know who Robin is, <laughs> if you've been here on my channel, obviously you probably know me. This yeah. is my partner, Robin Chachula. She is part of the design team behind Marley Bird. Um, she's, she's my person, guys. She's mm -hmm. 
I'm tired, so I don't want to cry, but you are my person. So um, there we are. Okay, talk so I don't cry. <laughs> I know it's it just hit me. It hit me bad, and I think it's because I'm tired. But I, yes. I really am. I'm yes. tearing up. Don't worry, everybody knows. Everybody knows I cry. I wear my heart on my sleeve. You guys, like this super is bad. this is who you are. Yes. So bad. Yes, I'm Robin. I'm part of the Marley Bird team. If you haven't seen me before, um, yeah. So there, I'm. You know, one of the team. We have we have a lot of amazing ladies who work behind the scenes that we work yeah. with that we're really. Frankly, I feel like we're really lucky to work with who we work with because everything that we do is even more incredible because of everybody that works with us, yeah. whether it's like Chrissy, who is literally organizes our life. I don't know what we would do without her, um, but like Shiri and Jill, but even more than that, like everybody who's our pattern testers and our contractors, because you really get in our brains and work with us. Like I'm such a collaborative person. I, it's very funny. It's very weird. Cause I'm very much an introvert. I, this is exhaust me. <laughs> I'm not like it, but I'm the extrovert. <laughs> I so much like working with people. Mm -hmm. Like I really love that back and forth of when we're working with our pattern testers and the way that they look at things. I'm like, Oh, I didn't even think about that. Like I, I really adore everyone that works yeah. with us. I feel really lucky to be part of the team. I feel really lucky that they are understanding of how we work. Cause you and I work completely different than a lot of other people yeah. and it can be frustrating yeah. You and I both are the first ones to say we are not for everybody, especially like the working wise. Like we just work differently. Um, yeah, we're not, not everybody's cup of tea. Luckily, no. we're each other's cup of tea. Because <laughs> most people would not enjoy working with us. And how the hell did it take us so long to get there? Like to know. realize that. Like we, we worked with each other like off and on, like through the years, but nothing yeah. at this level of the last five, six years. Yeah. I mean, what, what were we doing the previous like 10 years? I was miserable, <laughs> Marley. I was all by myself and miserable. <laughs> anyway. I hate doing half of the things that we're doing, like that you have to do in the business and you like doing those things. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. Blech. Well, I don't want to do it. Like, I'm not going to do it. Anyway, all right. What we're here to talk about. That's what I know. That's what I was like, and we're gonna bring it back now. <laughs> like, and anyway, I'm just excited because with day one, you get to see everybody starting out. Like, I want to thank everybody for like posting like all of their colors. Like, yes. I love seeing all of the colors that you're choosing and how you're choosing it and what you're doing because with stockings, yeah, we use DK weight, but any weight like who cares if you use worse to weight and it's bigger hockey you can use anything you want yeah so anything you want like and so i really enjoy that part but now that you're like for the people who bought the course who are starting to design their own charts that's really dude it's really fun can i tell you so i knew obviously i knew people were going to design their own charts but it didn't occur to me that they would share those charts with me so that i could see them i don't know why and now that they are i'm like Oh, that's so cool. So I'm like, how do I get it to where they can all share it in one place and like be collaborative together? Because that's what my brain is going. This is amazing. Like, this is so fun to see all of this because people are putting things together. Like I didn't think about putting colors together. I didn't think about like, I love it so much. It's the best. Yes. It really, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> and like watching like because we got to see like our testers play with it yeah and so we had like a little little piece of it but now we get to like a big piece of it we get everybody doing it i, I get really excited and yes. even if you're just doing the free version i still get really excited about that too because like it's wild to me how you all can use the same chart but your stockings look very different in like a cool way like in a really mm -hmm. fun Oh, I didn't think about doing it that way. Way. Yeah. Yep. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Which is which is the yeah. joy of it all. I right? know. So it's just day one. And then yeah. tomorrow with the foot, like we'll get to see even more options. Like right. I'm I'm excited. Like, spoiler alert, but tomorrow, like in the videos, I think I think it was with the foot. I was like, hey, 
So you finished that part. Isn't it cool? You should take a picture of it and post it on social media. Cause I'm like, you take a picture now because as you get to the next parts, so you'd be like, Oh, that's so cool. Like, I'm like, just reminding people, just take pictures. Cause it's just so neat to see it all come together. I think oh, it's just really fun. It is. It's the best. It's, it's the awesome. best to see everything come together. So I there's a lot of people joining us live here saying hello. I'm curious how many of you are working on the make along. Um, how many of you are like, what are you even talking about? Because maybe you've been working all week and weren't really on social media. And maybe you're out at a baseball game right now. And you're just like, oh, Marley's live. I'm bored with baseball because it's baseball. I'm going to see what Marley's doing. <laughs> <laughs> not judging, not judging at all, but I know what it's like. <laughs> or swim meet or track meet, Where all the things. Yeah. Um, so swim hi guys. Really boring. There's there's a lot of people. Hello from Germany. Hello from Germany. Um, gosh, there are so many people here saying hello. I'm trying to scroll down here to see here. Let's see here. I just wanted to say day one video. I just watched. I'm going to read that one more time. I just watched the day one video. I'm so excited. That's great. Are you doing knit or crochet, Lori? Are you doing the knit or the crochet? Dawn, love you, Dawn. Loving the course. That makes, God, God, you have no idea how happy that makes me because <laughs> putting that thing together, it's like I had one idea at one point in time. And then what happened, Robin? Like I woke up one morning and I was like, you know what? This is, this is how this has to go. And you were like, duh like that's what we were trying to do <laughs> like i couldn't wrap my head around how i wanted to present it because at first i was like oh it's just it's just a vip upgrade it's just the make along like that's all it is then then i had this like epiphany i'm like it's not just a make along it's a full-blown course like, full yeah. it is a it yeah. is a design your own stocking course that has a make along right. aspect that is not the sole focus of this course. And it's right. like, I had to wrap my head around that idea. Which is really funny. Cause I'm like, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I know. Already on board. I don't know. I don't Welcome. know. <laughs> I thought it was so fun. That's just where we are. That's why we're a team guys. Cause she, yeah. she will get there that's before I do. And she just, she's like, come on, come on. <laughs> So anyways, um, the course is awesome. I'm so glad you're loving it. Uh, and again, during the make along guys, you can absolutely follow the make along for free. And these two patterns will remain free on my website. They will be remain free on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're looking for that ad free PDF and more, absolutely check out the course, uh, because the price of the course is, is literally cheaper than if you were to buy these two for, for, um, like their full price amount and Ravelry because the part of the bonus of the course is you get a $20 gift coupon to my Ravelry store. So not only do you get the course, but you get a coupon to go spend and buy, get some more stuff. Yeah, like it's just, it's just mm -hmm. makes sense. I'm trying, my, can you, my brain is all over. Can you tell like the folk, the hyper focus has, has gone left. because you don't need to do it anymore. Yeah. Yes. It's so yeah, I'm just done. everywhere. Okay. Here. <laughs> She's watching the Yankees game. Go socks. Okay. Uh -huh. Go socks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, okay, Bobby is saying, I am learning the foundation double crochet while you watch. Um, so you know that we we use the foundation single crochet, but you can absolutely learn how to do foundation double crochet as well. That's so cool. Let's see here. Uh, Thea, I just bought the course and watched the knit video. I'll watch the crochet one next. Fantastic. Yeah. That's so cool. I mean, the great thing here. Robin, I don't know if you were able to watch the live the other day. I mentioned that, you know, we've been doing these stockings, this type of stocking, this will be our third year. And so for me, the course and it's showing people how to design with that template is yeah. really a wrap up of this design for me because yes. I'm, I'm ready to move on. Yeah. We're, but I know we're done with this. Yeah. This, this, not, not the Christmas in July, just this, this template of stocking. Yeah. We've been, and, doing it. Mm -hmm. but I know there are so many more options to them. So I loved the idea of showing people how they could make their own. Like it's so the funny. limit. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. not only that. So Brianna K, you guys know Brianna. Love Brianna. We have the prancing through the holidays course with her from last year's stocking. And there are, there's amazing stockings in there. And this year we, we divided, we have two different courses this year, but here's the thing y'all, they are complementary to each other. Meaning stockings are all toe up. There's a knit and crochet template and there are 40 charts of her 40 charts. None of them 
none of them are our over 50 charts. So if you were to get Brianna's course and our course, you would have two more templates, 40 more charts that you could still use with our templates and our charts could work with her templates. So you have just exploded the possibilities. It's kind of like, nice when you work with your friends. Huh? It absolutely like it is. It is so fantastic. You know what I have? I have an affiliate link to her course. I'm going to actually grab it real quick. Put so that in there. People her course. Cause it's really <laughs> funny, right? Like, uh, you know, we've, you've been doing this with Brianna for a number of years now. Yeah. Yeah. And we all came to the same, like, you know what? We got to change it up. Like this is the last year. So that's why we both were both Brianna and us were like, let's give them everything. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so like Brianna and I made sure that when we were designing all the stockings, knit or crochet, that all the multiples worked out. We made sure that all the math worked out. Mm -hmm. Um, of course I want to give this one caveat. If you are going back and forth because hers are toe up, mm -hmm. you need to flip our charts upside down. Um, mm -hmm. so they look like they should look like, cause right now all of our charts are upside down cause we're working cuff down. So like your row one is the very top of your stocking and you're working down where she was working up. Yeah. And um, if you watch the, the instructions, when I go over like how to do your charts, um, in the course, like how to create your own charts and how to read the charts and such, I talk a, a lot about how ours need to be upside down because we're going from the top down. Cause you guys think about it this way. Just think about it, just as we go through this, even though it's crochet, that's how we I'm crocheting crocheting it this way. Exactly. Even though when it's all done, it hangs like this that way. Mm -hmm. So the direction you're crocheting or knitting, you want to make sure mm -hmm. your chart is also facing that same way. So well, if we, I have, I have to tell you like, cause I'm of course working on my own version of it right now. And I won't lie. I think the most fun thing to do is to constantly do this and be like, what does it look like? Yeah. Like, you're working like this and you're like, Oh, that's pretty. But like a lot of them, like especially like all the animals, you can't tell what they look like. So I'm always mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. holding up to mirror, like yeah, That's so cute. Fun. <laughs> so I'm working on one too. I'm actually this is the one that I pieced together in That's in so the cute. course. So in yeah. the course, I was showing them how they could take all of the different charts and piece it together. And so this was just a random one. I was like, look, yeah. you, you took all these like mediums and smalls and put them together, and I did this. And I'm like. Well, shoot, I really like that. <laughs> like, I'm I'm gonna make that. So I'm actually doing this one with this. Oh, I so love I it. have I'm gonna show you the colors. I'm doing these colors, sort of like Valentine's-ish. I love right? it. I love it. I thought so. Like it's so that's, cool. Yeah, that's like what I was that's exactly oh, it what is. I it's like yours really too. Nerds. Oh my goodness. I just don't have I don't have, have purple. Blue. I did yeah, I so did the, the purple. purple. You can't tell because of my screen. But that's that's really funny, Marley. Oh my gosh. I didn't have the red red or else I would have done that. I yeah, I did the the blue blood red or whatever. That's, yeah, that's really funny. That's really hilarious. We're we funny. Are. We're funny ones. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. And I just put the link to Brianna's courses in both of the video description box. So if you guys are interested at all, I just put it in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's I, I just and not to beat a dead horse, but it's really like if you are a beginner knitter or crocheter, like doing both of the courses is fantastic because you learn very different skills and it's a stocking. So when you're done, it doesn't have to fit anyone. It doesn't have to look perfect. Everyone loves a stocking. Uh -huh. um, so in my mind, like they, they're so good to have. They're so yeah. good to have both of them because they don't compete with each other at all. And then you have like this little... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like summer camp. You have this whole learning adventure that you get to go on and you're ahead of the game for when holidays come around. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm having fun with all of this. Um, I, I'm assuming all of you already know, but so today in the, the day one of the make along, you're working on the leg of your stocking. So for the crochet one, it's single crochet through the back loop. That's what we're doing for the make along stocking. And so you're working all the way through the leg you crocheters will get done before the knitters for sure. And then all the way through the leg for the knitters as well. Um, this part up here, 
just plan. It's going to take you a couple hours just to have the two. I know the Latvian braid is really frustrating on the first pass because it gets all twisted, but it's very satisfying on the second pass. Yeah. You untwist. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be fine. And if it's your first time doing it, give yourself a little bit of breather. There is no deadline on our, the make along. So no. don't worry about your timing. Yeah. But that Latvian braid is 100% worth every minute you put into it. Yes. It's so fun. It's so, so much so. So Robin has loved the look of the Latvian braid. She was like, that is so cool. And I, you guys, if you've done Bycrafty Boot Camp with me, you've made several different pieces. With, I really like it. It adds such a beautiful touch to a piece that it, and it's simple to do. You don't think it is, but it's really simple once you start doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so Robin came up with like a faux lap being braid for crocheters to add to theirs. So do you want to show them that on your Tunisian and then I'll show them on this one. Yep. So it's not like a regular lap being braid. Cause like a regular lap being braid, these strands would all be going one direction. It's almost like it'd be making a V. Mm -hmm. In ours, it kind of looks just like woven, but it gives the same like thickness. Like it's still, uh -huh. it's all puffy. Yeah. Like a Latvian mm -hmm. braid should be. So yeah, I didn't want us crocheters to miss out. It's really cool. We so, too. but we do has, that last. Yeah. She's recorded a video for this that I need to edit and I'm going to put up into the course. We're also going to put it into the YouTube channel. Um, I will have it up. I most likely I'll have it up tomorrow or Monday. Um, because right. you, you don't need last it. Part. You don't yeah. need it until you're yeah, at the finishing. You don't need it right now. But can we talk about this one? <laughs> Cause here's the coolest thing guys. So you guys know about the menorah tops, right? We have the menorah tops stuffies that, you know, you have the candles you could put. They're adorable. If you don't know, they're adorable. There are patterns on the website. Or if you, yeah. if you go through the course, you'll see that you have an option to purchase holiday pattern collection. They are actually in there in the ad-free PDF format, which is the first time they've been provided like that. Um, so if you want them, they're in there. Anyways, um, Robin is Jewish. I am Christian. Robin has a mixed home. I have a lot of Jewish friends and I just was like, I want to have more, more stuff. That's not just Christian Christmas. I want to have like holidays. That's why we call them holiday stockings because even though there is the, the number of, you know, they, Oh, those are Christmas stockings. Well, actually, I mean, anybody can put up stockings, right? Anybody can put up a stocking. I mean, you and can, I mean, I, I won't lie. My mom's not putting up stockings, but in my household, and I won't lie, all of my friends' households, all of us who are Jewish, did not marry someone who was Jewish. So it's, <laughs> we're used to that mix. Like I grew up in a mixed household. Um, and it's just, I, let, let's be 100% clear I love kitsch at the holidays. Uh -huh. My outside, looks they call it the zoo because i put up every inflatable animal i can possibly find and then have like my manure next to my dreidel inflatables i look like a crazy person i realize this but i this love the ridiculous stuff i like so of course i'm going to make a hanukkah stocking that has nothing to do with hanukkah yes but i love it i'm I not gonna it. give i'm not gonna give that to like my uncle, who's a rabbi, he will be like Robin. There's no use for that. I realize <laughs> that, but but it's cool so thing, cute. But like, what I found by doing it is that like the charts don't just have to be for stockings. So like, if you end up buying the course, those charts could be for anything. There's nothing saying that each one of those dots had to be a single crochet. They could be a corner to corner. They could be a granny square. Like you could like think about like you can use them for anything yep don't give away all of our secrets we, we still got to design some things if they took camp color work they already know that i know i know <laughs> camp color work y'all know what camp but, color work is right go speaking, to campcolorwork.com if you don't <coughs> speaking of going both ways if you bought the course the pillows behind you that's the whole reason i designed those pillows like if you go grab them real quick marley okay. so these pillows one your outfit's super cute, by the way. You oh, look really, you look like really cute. Look how cute she looks. I love the back, the swish so, back. You remember the other day I told you I was like feeling green and everything I bought was like this color green. That's so crazy. like in the course, you guys, do you see the yellow like 
sweater thing I was wearing. I bought that and that and this that same day. Then I bought a green coach wallet. I was like, I'm obviously on some sort you're, of a. You're in oh, it. Yeah. Loving it. Okay. I love it. Okay. So this one and then flip it around. So this is my Christmas one. It says merry and bright. That makes sense, right? And mm -hmm. then I put it right next to lights and then flip it, lights and love. Because that's my Hanukkah one. So those are my pillows that I have on my couch. I love it. So it's, you know, bright love, merry lights. I don't know. I flip it around. I love it. Yeah. And my dog loves them because they smell like her dog. And so <laughs> if you watch the introduction video in the course, you guys, you'll see Brie like all lounged out on the on my chair on these pillows because she's like Lehigh. <laughs> but like Lehigh. in the course, if you buy the course, you get those patterns, and then in the patterns, you could put you could embroider any words that you want on there. They can have be which any is one of the bonuses in the course. We have the alphanumerical charts that we have it provided. So if you wanted to do monogramming or anything like that. All of that is provided in there as well. And I keep forgetting about that because that is, is you, it's with the alphabet, you think it's going to be so easy to chart. It's not. But it's funny because anything that's slanted or curved, you, you still have to stick in the boxes. So those mm -hmm. alphabetical charts that, that we have are really fun, like yes. really fun. They really are. So anyways, this is a free pattern, a free bonus pattern in the course. This is not with the make along. This is a bonus pattern in the course. So if you took the course, you get this. Um, you also get this one. This is called Golden Hour. My favorite. Mm -hmm. I love this one. And you know what I, I realized with this is, um, so in the course, you're supposed to use your size sevens for this portion. And then on anything that you do, with color work, you're supposed to use your size eights. Yeah. I made this whole stocking with size seven. So it's a little bit smaller than the others, but I love this so much. And guys, you got to see my float porn because can I just tell you, I'm a professional and I'm a professional for a reason. Cause I'm just that good. <laughs> As my son would say, I'm that girl. Obviously I have the two ends from the heel. I didn't tuck in. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. Like when you come back, you can see the, the it's, design still. It's beautiful. It's so, I just love it. I love it's looking beautiful. at my floats. My floats don't look like that. No, yours, yours are different. I know. I just want to get them across. Why are you doing that? Isn't that nice? Don't do that. <laughs> it's inside. Isn't that, but, isn't that nice? So, so that was one thing. Robin, um, you can do the waistcoat stitch with floats or you can tuck them in sort of tapestry style. For the crochet stocking, I did tapestry style. So they're obviously single crochet through the back loop, but they're all um, like encased. All of the floats are encased. So this is the inside of my stocking. Right. So like you're you're working over your ends. Yeah. yeah. So it's, think of it like weaving them in as you go. You're working oh, over I just, them. I do. Like I think yeah. as, you, as you become more and more proficient with knitting, you really appreciate the inside. Like I don't know how many sweaters. And a little, a little caveat, like. So hold up the your stocking again, the crochet one. Okay. Marley is amazing at what she does. Like her stitches are gorgeous. If when you're doing it, you're seeing that yarn that you are trying to work over, don't work over it anymore. Just yeah. Don't work over it anymore and just strand it behind. You yep. don't have to work over. Nope. Like if you're starting to, if it's starting to poke through and you can see it, um, just a caveat because like marley is that is stunning so like thank you thank i you know you what's so much. funny is i would make the whole thing out of the holly well i so it was after i saw this that okay. i was like "Ooh, i would really like that and it's funny you say that um because because um <laughs> i made myself like a full chart of if i just did holly <laughs> You didn't even know that. But I was like, I should make a holly stocking. I really like the holly stocking. I really like the holly. And you know what else? One of the stitchers, the contractors, the three dots inside the holly, she did those in a different color. So she did the, she did three and it looks oh. amazing. Like it was like, if this was this color green, it was like just that lighter color green or like a blue or uh -huh. something inside. And it was so pretty. Oh, and I was man. like, yeah, I need a holly. So that's, I that's so funny you said that because I had the same thought. Um, <laughs> because it's, it turned out so pretty. Like it's I didn't so expect pretty. it to look so pretty. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I really like in the back loop. 
I do. You know, like I won't like when we get to the heel, that just is. I really like that. Like, I like those lines. Those make me it's happy. It's like perfection. Like, oh, even the finishing of the heel. It like just, it's, I like it. That is it's so satisfying. Well, because, like, <laughs> you always think of doing the waistcoat stitch or the the yeah. split single crochet. You get mm -hmm. those beautiful Vs. Everything yeah. is perfect. It lines up. Um, but it you don't have to. Like, let's be honest. Split single crochet is not for everyone. And yeah. I get it. Like it's a pain in the butt, but I was back loop only, man. It looks, it looks, it looks really nice. That this looks. This is fantastic. my split. That's my split single crochet where I was encompassing uh -huh. the floats. I was, and I was really playing around because you they peek through just a little bit, yeah, but I was playing around with trying to hold them back more, and so yeah. I was like, well, I'm gonna just see. And I'm like, you look a little bit further away, and you can't tell. Like it looks right. really good. It's pretty neat. I was messing with that. So I love it. So, so, uh, Carlene here, she says, you're getting close to reading each other. Dude. Already there. So much. So like we had this, we had that conversation this week because she yeah. was like, you're, <laughs> what did you say? I said something. You were like, did I say that? Like, did I yeah. tell her that? Yeah, that's exactly right. I was like, cause you, you said something and I was like, did I already tell her that to do that? Because <laughs> I was definitely going to tell her to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Rose says we can't tell you work together at all. <laughs> oh, I love this idea. I might sew on red beads for the berries. I really like that idea. I please bravo. if you do this, please post a picture. Please. I, I love really the like idea. to see it. That sounds oh my fantastic. Gosh. I would love to incorporate some sort of beads or even like jingle bells along the, like if you did something up here, you could do, there's so many, there's just so many options. There's it's so, so many options. Fun. It's, it's ridiculous, right? It's just That's ridiculously so cool. fun. So this is new. I've never had anybody from Kenya before. So I'm just saying hi. Hi from Kenya. Hi, Becky crochets from Kenya. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm going to tell my kids that I had somebody from Kenya. <laughs> They always get a kick when Jenny King calls because, you know, she has that great Aussie accent. And so when she calls, they're like, put her on speaker, put her on speaker. Hey, this is Jenny King called me. Yeah, so. it's pretty, it's awesome. Oh, gosh. Uh, so here you go. Uh, Luz is saying she's still mm -hmm. in the beat idea. I think Good I love idea. it too. I love Good that. Idea. <laughs> I think it's great. All right. So I'm going up to see what else here you guys think alike. Just getting started. Ooh, this is a good question. I have provincial tweed. I think I will make golden hour with that. That would be beautiful. Absolutely. I love provincial tweed. Absolutely. I love provincial tweed. And I know. provincial tweed says that it's a worse weight, but let's be honest, it's really a DK weight. That's it's a, it's light. Real thin worse. Yeah. It You're is not like no a problem using that. No. You know, because they say like super saver is worsted weight. And I'm like, okay, mm, they're it's like, if you were to substitute super, super saver for provincial tweed, it would not be the same. Would not be the same. No, it, it'd be like fitting between like a, you're making a child sweater versus a sweater that fits right. Up. It right. Would not make so then, sense. So then, like the question is who's correct? Well, here's, here's, here's the answer is both are correct. No. The hard part is as a crocheter or as a knitter, you need to understand that both are not like apples to apples. You have mm -hmm. to know that one's going to be thicker or have more halo or bloom or whatever than the other. It's and nuts. so um, that's yeah. just things that you can, you can teach yourself. All right. Let me come up here. <laughs> Maggie says, although it may make me into a stocking person. So that's the first part. This is why I bought the course. Not much of a stocking person, but I know there are so many things I can do with charts and the techniques, although it may make me into a stocking. Well, Maggie, you know, some of the, the charts in there are like with sheep and stuff. You know what we don't have in there that I thought about? We don't have like a yarn ball with like a tail going. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I haven't looked at Brianna's. I don't know if she has one or not. We should think about adding one of those of some sort. Yeah, or we'll check we'll check with Brianna see if she has. One. That's a good call. That's yeah. a good call. I think that would be good. Anyways, but there's sheep, super duper cute, and I the elephants. Cute. I think the elephants are adorable. I really like the elephants. I don't know what I want to do with them, but I really I, like them. I want to do something with the elephants. Teresa says yeah. she loves the sheep. Teresa, 
isn't Teresa the one that made the beautiful blue and white bird stocking? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to see if yeah. I find it, if I can find it so I can share it. Cause <laughs> it is so pretty y'all. Yeah. It's in, it's in the group. You just have to. Yeah. Guys, you realize yeah. I haven't talked. I like really haven't talked to Robin in like days. So this is like, I'm getting my Robin kick in. We've here. been go, 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 go. I know. So like Marley's been filming and everything and I've been doing everything. That's a print. Yeah. So, and then it's like, you got that up. Yeah. I got that up. You got that. Okay. It's like, yeah. Grunt, grunt. Right. All right. Let me see here. Look at that. Oh, oh, stunning. That is chef's kiss. Perfection right there. That's is what that so is. Pretty. All the way, like from, from like the top, the Latvian braid is perfect. That's so Teresa, this is exactly what I said to Marley. I'm like, Everything about it was stunning. And on like first try, you got that Latvian braid. Like, oh my gosh. It's you just perfection. did stunning work here. I love it. So Teresa is one of our testers, you guys. So she got the, the 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 patterns ahead of time. And so she put this pattern together using the charts. And let's be honest, our testers get like the world's worst of it. Because we're like, here's this, here's this. But you don't get the whole course. You don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we're like, here, interpret our crazy. <laughs> I know. Our our tester group, you guys, is called the Crazy Train. So they know what they're getting into. Like, but I love Teresa how you combined all sorts of different charts together. I I, I love I, it. I really like Teresa, it. I like if, it a lot. Is this sparkle? Is this the sparkle um, chart? Those looks like the sparkle chart. I yeah, love. that's the sparkle just... chart. And that's like the modern snowflake, and then the scroll and the bird. Yep. I love everything about this. I like, love it. If if Cherie, if I I would I would publish this. Like I love this. I love Beautiful. everything about. You did this. such a great job. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm so excited about. Yeah. So everybody who's doing a stocking today or tomorrow, whenever you're going to watch this, mm -hmm. I can't wait to see everybody's. No. It's like so cool. I, I just I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm going to see if I, there's a couple other people. Oh, here's a fun one. All right. So how many of you are dog lovers? Open image and new tab. Let me put this over here so that we can, sorry, it's going to, I wish I had, this is why radio personalities and TV people have other people working with them so that they can right, have stuff ready to go. We we're just clicking the one button. One man's y'all. Oh gosh. And then all my like notifications over here, like show up and all right, share screen. And there it is. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I think that is so cute. Oh, this is the one. See the darker green with the lighter green? Yep. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I I just love this. My little dog babies. I love my little dog babies. It's cute with the paws down here. I at the love bottom. the paws. I love the paws. They're so adorable. It's just precious. Oh. Such, such a good job. Such a good job. So, I mean, it's just, it's great. So we're seeing things that are different from what we're doing. And again, if you guys, like, if you're confused, you're like, what the heck? The course comes with three templates. It comes with a knit template, which is essentially the stocking you guys are doing for the knit along, right? It's, this is the template. It's just, you would fill in the different leg, you fill in a different foot and you are on your way. Cause that's essentially what I've been doing, right? I've been designing and going forward. Same idea. You have three other templates, one for back loop only, and one for the waistcoat stitch. This is the, the, or the split single crochet. That's what that one looks like. Right. This is a whole separate pattern, but that's what the idea is. Yeah. So like, just plug in here and we it. go. So this is the back loop only. This is the whole template here. It's it's essentially, it's a pattern where then you get to plug in what you're doing, right? And then this is the knit template. And then this is the crochet, uh, split single crochet template. And then this chart stitchinary, you guys don't have to print it out. I printed it out so I could show, but it's over 50 charts. And I said this the other day. So we had 50 and I was like, it sounds better if we say over 50. And I think we added 10 more. 
I added 10 more. And so it's really like 60 or whatever, but I'm like, just say over 50. It's just easier. Yeah, I went to bed and I woke up and I'm, there was so much more. I'm like, yeah, but they're just a bunch of charts. And you guys, they include Stitch Fiddle links. So you can have digitally interactive charts where you're changing colors, mix and match them together. Um, I show you how to do that in the course so that you don't have to question it. Um, I will tell you that mix and matching charts and doing stuff a little bit more extensive requires a premium account with Stitch Fiddle, which is not that expensive. And I even mentioned in the course, I am not affiliated with Stitch Fiddle. I just use it all the time. Like I use and it all the time. you don't want to do it, you can just print it out. Yep. That's I mean, already showed you hers. You can just print yep. it out. Yep. So Nothing you can wrong with working out. on it that way. Yep. And do it just like this. Yeah. Yep. Same way. So there's just so many options for you. Okay. I uh, love doing charts. Uh, let's see here. What's this? I'm Keisha. So cool. I'm going to start this weekend with the class. Fantastic. I love it. Let's see here. What is this? I don't want my stockings. I don't want my stockings, but I, I've been playing. I'm wanting to play around with the color work ever since I started the first color work. Fantastic. If you, you know, what might be really good for you is camp color work. Honestly, if you want to, if you're looking for color work details for knitting and crochet and like there's Tunisian mixed in there, camp color work well, is what you really want to yeah, check that every, out. Every, every color work you, you want to talk about a course practice. that is like the cream of the crop. Amazing. We put everything we had into it. Camp color work. Yeah. Camp color work is amazing. Um, let's see here. What is this? Carlene, your testers need crazy chain tea. Oh, that should be their <laughs> Christmas present. <laughs> I'm still wanting to put a Robin quote on a bag or a shirt. Like we're not going to do anything crazy today. Cause that's what she says. Or kooky. She says kooky. It's a little kooky. I just filmed a class that we'll be putting out in a little while. And I was honest. I was like, listen, this is weird. Everything we're doing today is weird. <laughs> so at least I'm honest. <laughs> you are honest. Very honest in my videos. Absolutely. Like, this is not normal. That's why Robin's here. If it was something normal, Marley would be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one last thing I do want to mention is that, you know, we do have the Marley's Minions Facebook group. Um, the, the link to that is in the blog post, like anything you want. I get it that not everybody is on Facebook. I understand. And we're on YouTube right now and on Facebook. So if you're on YouTube, you're like, I don't Facebook. I totally understand. But I do want you to know there are prizes that are being announced in our Facebook group for you to enter for chances to win. Um, I know that one of them right now is a shorty set of Chaigu needles. And then there are Expression Fiber Arts yarns. Did you see that yarn? It's so Did you see that yarn? I was just going to say that to you. I'm like, I oh, feel I like I got to go get that yarn. <laughs> yeah, I was like. But I cheated myself already. I can't go get the yarn. You, already did. you can't go buy more yarn. Spend my treat. I spent my treat. That the yarn is gorgeous. Um, so if you are at all thinking about being a part of Facebook, even if it's the only place on Facebook that you're a part of, I will tell you we keep it very clean, very positive, very encouraging. Um, it's a it's a wonderful place. Uh it's yeah. it's just a nice and little I place. I hope you feel because like I that it's a safe space to ask a question. Like yes. it does not matter how much of a beginner or expert you nope. are. Yep. Nope. People are there. Like if you tr truly have a question about knitting or crocheting, they're there. Yep. To be like, yeah, hey, our moderators are really smart too. So if they see your question come through, because all of the comments, not all the comments, all the posts have to get approved. So if like you're doing a post and it comes through and one of the moderators can answer it, they will do a decline post, but they will give you feedback to answer your question like directly to you. Um, so like there's just, they're just wonderful, wonderful helpers. And it's just a, it's a wonderful group. It's a wonderful group. I love it. So all of that is to say there are prizes for this. Um, really easy. And there's grand prizes. Really $50 good gift cards. prizes. Yeah. Like, really good really prizes. Really kind of mad I can't. I know, right? Yeah, we have several expression fiber arts. There's the Chai Gu. There's Erin Lane bags. There's uh, knit picks and we crochet. I mean, there's there's some good prizes, y'all. Some good yeah. prizes. So make sure. Patty yeah. says, how do you join? Are you talking about the, the make along or the Facebook group? Here's, here's the quick answer. In the video description box of this video, there is a link to the make along blog post. Go there. The one that goes to marleybird.com. 
go there. Literally take the time and just read through all of it because all the information you need is in that post. Yes. And I get it. I even skim through posts, guys. Like I skim through posts all the time. But if you read all of it, everything you need is there. Everything you need. I gotta... Anything that we've talked about today. I mean, even when we're talking about Cam Color Work, our other courses that we've done, mm -hmm. everything's in the post. Yep. Just go to that post. Yep. I don't answer everything. Post. Yep. And if you fall in love with the Marley Birdhouse, like I love the Marley Birdhouse, you can always go to the Marley Birdhouse and see what products are available for purchase. Like you'll see everything that's up available for purchase and you can click on links in there and it'll take you to the purchase pages and stuff. Yeah. And just know like we don't, is chintz a word? Chintz? Why is the word chintz coming in my head? Is that a word? I don't even know what that like I, mean, I was going to say, we don't chintz on people. the offering. Is that a, I don't know. If yeah. it's a derogatory word, I'm sorry. Like that word Probably. is popping in my head. I yeah. hope it's not. Um, What's another way of, I, now that's all that's in my head. We don't, we don't hold back. We, we don't skimp on it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. Whatever. You're going to get awesome stuff in the Marley Bird House. So you can always, you know, purchase without any sort of hesitation, hesitation. or regret. Yeah. Or, or, Our courses are very chunky. Yeah. They're, they're not, you're, they're not something that you consume in an hour. No. There's something that like, Oh, I really want to take my craft to the next level. Mm -hmm. That's where our courses come in. We, we are not a, an amuse bouche. We are the full five course meal. Like all of, as it. you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's let these people go with knit and crochet. If you guys have any questions, again, we're answering them uh, throughout the whole weekend over in the Marley Bird House, or not the Bird House, in the Marley Bird Minions Group. Um, yeah. Last way, train of thought. In the Minions Group, uh, as you post on social media, make sure you tag us. Like I, ta You can tag me. Um, I'm loving seeing all the things coming through. I've seen people starting their projects on, on Instagram. Somebody was like, I've done my first foundation single crochet. And I was like, that's so exciting. Like, it's so exciting. And, and so time consuming. They take so much time. Um, all of these things take a little while to learn. Yeah. Absolutely. Maggie, you're the best. Uh, I love it. And then here's something too. Oh, Denise, skimp. Yeah, there's a go. That's a good word. Thank you. And then love the birdhouse. Awesome. You guys are so great. Okay. Go enjoy the day, you guys. Yes. Let us know how it's going. Remember, even if you don't get the leg done today, it's mm -hmm. fine. You are not in a race. All the information is still going to be there. It's not going away. No. So, I mean, make sure you take breaks, get some water, stretch, grab some coffee, maybe go see the Barbie movie if you want to. I have go no desire to see it. Yeah. Did you say take a walk? Go take a walk. Yeah. Who wants to do that? <laughs> I don't want to see the Barbie movie, so I'll go take a walk. <laughs> I don't want to see the Barbie either. Anyways. Okay. All right, y'all. That's it from us. I hope you enjoyed this little like check-in around. Uh, yeah. I like, it's like my ADHD is on full, full display right now. Full display. Right. It's you're okay. doing great. Thanks. Bye guys.